Lee, Vijendra Singh's been with you for over a year now. What's the progress been like? Uh, yeah, good. I've obviously seen him when he first came to the gym. Um, very amateurish and uh, a, lot, a lot to learn, basically. Still got a lot to learn, but obviously he's a work in progress, but he's developing very, very quickly. Um, inside game, he's improved very, very good on the outside, naturally anyway. So, um, yeah, real pleased with him. Like I said, he was there the first day he came to the gym, so you can see the transition that he's made. A lot of fighters at that age, you know, some some can struggle to make that transition from amateur to pro, but he's one that's uh, that's slotted straight in. You're just about to fly out to Delhi for his fight against Francis Checker. When you've been with him out there, what sort of pressure does it bring on him? There's a lot of pressure. Obviously, he's, a, he's a very popular in, in India. Uh, well, very well respected, well known, and obviously the Indian community love him, don't they? When the fights happen, they go crazy. So, he, but he's a very calm person, laid back, takes things in his stride. So. Although there's a lot of pressure, he knows how to deal with it. He's been to three Olympics, so he's, he's used to that kind of pressure on his shoulders anyway. Can you give us a, an example of what your demands will be fight week in India for him? Just not like, obviously he's got a, you know, media things to do and stuff like that, but I just want to make sure that the, the final like that prep week we've got there, just sharpening things up, nothing affects the gym. And obviously like just make sure he's resting plenty as well. So, but last time we was over there, it all ran smoothly anyway. No problems. And what sort of shape is he in? Because I think last time he had one or two injuries, yeah, he did. didn't he? Yeah, he was obviously like a little injury last time, which was right before the fight. Um, that cleared up fight week. Uh, this time he's in, he's, in, he's in good shape. We've got the rest of this week as well to finish off, so just need him need a couple of days and he's, he'll be bang on then. And Checker, what sort of threat does he bring? Obviously, he's an you know, old campaigner, like, you know, he's been in with some good fighters. Um, but Bidinja does what he does, you know, he's got the boxing brain skills, he's, he hits hard enough, you know, we've got a game plan what we're working on for that uh, particular fight and you know, Virginia should win and hopefully he'll win in fashion. Um, talk about your other boxers, um, Adrian Gonzalez, good to see him back in the gym, so is it a case of just getting his licence back and he'll be back in action? Yeah, he's, he's been training, been sparring, uh, plenty of sparring, he came out, he looks sharp actually, very sharp, but I don't want to be... You know, too much where he just becomes bored with things as well. But you know, he's been doing a lot of strength work with uh, Jono um, as well. So he's, he's just got to get his this board, you know, go to the board, get his license back in order, and um, look at him fighting up for about March time next year. But he's a very experienced fighter agent, so he doesn't need too much to get back in. He just needs to uh, get his license sorted, and then. But it's good to have him back in the gym. He's good, good for the lads as well. And you're wearing a T-shirt of Jimmy Kelly there. He just forced me to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy's just signed a deal with MGM. Um, so he'll be uh, hopefully fighting early stages the next year. Going to get a date soon. Um, what a big year for Jimmy next year. He's a um, real good lad. And he's had a couple of fights this year. He had an injury, come off the Liam Smith fight on his elbow. He had surgery on that. Uh, he's had three fights back now. And he's perfectly placed now to, to push on. So... Hopefully, like this this year coming 2017 is a big year for him as well. All the lads.